Hello and welcome to Promo Antarctica Tip of the Week. Today I'm going to show you how to import Excel spreadsheet tables into AutoCAD and how to export them to a CSV file. So I've got my drawing here and I've got my spreadsheet here. This is the area that I want to put into AutoCAD. I'm going to select this area and then copy it. I'm going to say here I copy it and then paste it with Ctrl V. I set an insertion point here and then AutoCAD is going to insert it as an OLE object. So then I set the attributes and say OK. So the other way is to go to the Revan home uh, table here and the annotation part. I can start by like summoning the empty table like, in case like you want to type in everything. Otherwise, you need to create a, a link to this data. So you're going to choose this part, select from a data link. And I've created some links here. So then I'm going to create a new one. Like, one, two. One, let's say, I'm just going to say OK. And um, I'm going to look for my file, that is this one. And I'm going to link link this to a, a range, but you can also select the entire sheet. So then I've got um, my area here, goes from A6 to C30. Is going to say A6 to C30. It's going to say OK. And then it was step one. I say OK. And then I say OK. And then I'm going to need to set the point. So now that it's here, in case I want to edit these objects, then here uh, you can double click on it and then you're going to be able to edit this with Microsoft Excel. And uh, if you want to edit this one, then uh, you're going to select this table, go here, unlock the table, and then you're going to be able to change the information that you want. Otherwise, you can update the, your Excel file and then go here, data, links, update all data links, and this is going to update the information you have here. Now, um, so to export the, um, this table to a CSV file, then what you need to do is that you need to select the table and once uh, you've selected the table and you're going to um, right click on it and then select export then this way you're going to be able to export the table to to a csv file so then you save it and that is all for today. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions, just put them in the comment section below.